Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to check out the Norfolk Roadster. It's the new horse of the Moonshine role uh, of the new DLC, of course. So we're going to test it out. We're going to see if it's actually any good. And then I'll give you my opinion uh, at the end of the video. Guys, quick before we get started. Uh, I'm sorry if it takes a little bit longer to, to make these videos and upload these videos. I'm like two weeks away from my exams. So I'm studying for, uh, for those. Um, so that's why it takes a little bit longer. So here we are. I call my moonshine, I don't know why, but uh, this is the Norfolk Roadster. It's actually the black coat. We also got a grayish coat, but I decided to go with the black one because I think it really looks cool. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty cool course. It's pretty cool. It's not, it's sort of like a mix between a Missouri Fox Soda and the um, Turkmen in size of builds. Uh, but as you can see, the stats are not that good. It's a level 4 bond as well. So as you can see, we got around 6 uh, health around seven stamina and then the speed of course is nothing too special about it but the seven stamina is actually pretty decent because when you go up to the level 20 horse of the roll there i think we'll probably see some some good stamina um probably around eight or nine or ten even so that's definitely something worth checking out to later on uh, once we actually get there so overall a pretty cool horse i actually like it i actually really did enjoy riding it um it's a cool horse it's it's strongly built, you know, it's not a small size, uh, as you can probably see right now. I just I just enjoy enjoying it, riding it. It's a cool horse, like I said. Uh, it's not... I would say it's not as small as the as the Morgans, Kentucky Saddlers and all that. It's a little bit bulkier than all those horses, um, but it's not as bulky as the Shire, as you can probably see. So let's start off the stamina test and see how far we can actually go. Um, keep in mind, guys, it's a level 4 bond, so that's also a uh, thing you gotta keep in mind. But for 150 for 150 dollars and I think one token, and it's a good horse. You know, I tested it out. The, st the stats look good, so we're gonna see if it's actually good in game, if the stable is good and all that, uh, and then I'll give you my opinion later on in the video. But overall, I actually really did enjoy riding it, um, especially if you're like a lower level, lower level player and you you don't have that much money then this is definitely a horse you should pick up to it's it's 150 dollars you can never go wrong with 150 dollars um, for a horse like this so i uh, definitely do that um, but later on i will give you my opinion on if it's actually worth if you already have some horses um, in your stable so as you can see we're just doing the stamina test and the cool thing about this horse which i like is is the coat looks really cool sometimes when the sun shines and it's a little bit wet on the coat it really looks cool also the horse is not such a big horse um, than the Shire and all that but it's also not as, as tiny or as skinny uh, as the Arabian is it's something between like I said the Missouri Fox Roller and the Turkoman um, it's a bit bulkier than the Turkoman but it's also a, you, you'll see you can see it you know the horse looks cool it's, it's a strongly built horse um, which I definitely like and I think the black coat really fits it. So we're just gonna wait here and see um, how far we can actually go and then I will be back. So as you can see, he's going to stop or kick me off, or try to kick me off at least, um, around here. And I gotta say, it's actually a good distance, you know, there are, it's about the average horse that comes here. Um, but keep in mind guys, it's only $150 for this horse, so this is definitely, the stamina is definitely a good thing. You only pay $150 and you get a horse that is about the same average stamina stats than, let's say, a $500 horse. Okay, so shooting. Um, let's see what it does. So the first shot, pretty stable. Again, the front two hooves. But from the first shots, he, he seems pretty stable, seems pretty calm. Uh, doesn't get damage agitated right away. He's still pretty, pretty calm. And now you can see a little bit agitated. But uh, I think the first shot, did, he did really good with the first shots. So as you can see now he's getting agitated, you know, he's, he's jumping up and down. 
Uh, you can definitely see him getting agitated here. But he stays pretty calm and doesn't jump away or doesn't run away, which is also very important. He stays pretty calm. I think now you can definitely see how, how strongly built this horse is. I think it's a really cool horse. Now you see him jumping, now he's really getting agitated. Um, you see him jumping up and down there. But I think he did good, I think he did pretty decent actually for the first couple shots. And then later on when we start doing more shots, you saw him there getting agitated. So let's see what he does when we're, uh, we're on top of him and, and shooting some more horses. Or more, more wind weapons and shots. And, we're not shooting horses, by the way, <laughs> just saying. So yeah, he did actually really good. He didn't, didn't move that much. Um, he was pretty stable on later on parts where we took out the more heavier weapons and we started shooting more often. There you will saw definitely the... Um, the edge statement getting above um, but overall really good horse in stableness so we're gonna test it out on some alligators as well later on and see how it does with that uh, and then we'll give a I'll give my opinion if you actually should buy this horse if you already have some horses in your stable um, so yeah let's go into the next section and let's go to the alligators and see what he actually does there if he's any good or you should just stay away from this alligators in general um, but now you can definitely see how bulky this horse is, it's a really cool horse, definitely think it's one of the cooler looking horses. Okay, so here we are, I think it took me around an hour to actually find these two um, alligators, which was kind of annoying. It definitely took me like, I think 45 minutes to find them, so uh, yeah, here we are eventually, we found them. Um, and as you can see, first time he did pretty good, but then we came a little too close and we also slowed down quite a bit. And then he kicked me off right away. Um, but as you can see, I, I whistled him and he came right back. So that's a good thing. So let's see how, how it does. Or So you can definitely see you still are able to keep control over him if you if you drive or if you ride uh, pretty close to alligators. Unless you like slow down so really far or you slow down really hard and you take a sharp corner which leads to slowing down even more then you can definitely see him um, getting you bucked off yeah i think he does pretty good um let's see right now what he does because i think there was some okay now it kicks me off because again i slow down because i did so that's a that's a thing you guys keep in mind don't slow down once your horse is agitated otherwise you, he will kick you off um yeah so i thought there were some alligators here in the water no okay not so we're gonna go back over to these two um, oh, there's only one. Yeah, the other one despawned. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do it with this one, and then we'll uh, I'll give my opinion if you should buy this horse or not. But overall, I think he did a good job. Unless here, he bugs me off. Again, pretty common when you ride too close and we slow down and take a sharp corner or something like that. It's pretty common. Um, but overall, I think he did the alligator test pretty good. Keep in mind, guys, it's only 150 dollars, so. Don't expect him to be like an absolute monster and destroy these alligators. Um, but he did good. Definitely, definitely. You. It was definitely worth, or definitely up there with the with the best ones I've tested already. Um, so yeah, should you buy this horse? I think if you have no horses, let's say you're level level 20, then this is definitely a pickup. You know, you should pick it up if you're under level 20, and even when you're under level 30. Because there are not too many good horses if you're under level 30. Um, there are some good horses, but I think for $150, this is definitely worth picking up too. In general, you don't have to spend that much or you don't have to actually do a lot of things to get this horse. You just have to log in. Uh, I think you only have to maybe pay 50 gold to put your moonshining roll to to um, to active and then you can get this horse which is actually nothing if you just want to do the the moonshine roll anyway and if you buy the outlaw pass you all get that 
gold back so it's definitely worth picking up too if you have no horses or if you're under level 30 because it's a really good horse um for under level 30 if you're above level 30 then or if you're above level 50 or something like that then i'll probably wait until the level 20 um horses of it because i believe the level 20 horses will be much better than this one because this one is already pretty good but keep in mind there's also level 20 horses level 15 horses i believe um, or level 10 horses even, which are even better. So I will definitely, if you guys want Norfolk, then I will definitely wait um, until the level 20 horses. Once they're level 20, you can just pick them up. Uh, I think they will be much better. And I will also, also test those out once I actually do get to level 15 or 20, whatever it is. But overall, if you're under level 30, 40, I think you should pick it up. If you're above, then you should wait until maybe level 15 or level 10, and then even level 20 if you're like, not sure if you want to buy it, but you want a good horse, then I'll just wait to level 20 because they are, I think, or I believe they will be pretty good. So, guys, that was it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.